read. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rustic Styles uh, YouTube page. My name is Scott Schaefer, owner of San Juan Carpentry, and today we're going to be building a couple of lamps. Um, what I've got here is a really cool piece of burl aspen, and I'm going to make two lamps out of this. Using the burl as the base of the lamp, I'm going to get it all nice, cut it in half. We'll have two lamps that'll kind of match each other, so it should be fun. What I'm going to do to start off with is uh, we're going to cut it down to length. What I'm going to do is I'm using a, a drill bit, a long drill bit, to drill my hole for the wire. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that the post of the lamp is short enough that the drill bit will go all the way through. Alright, so let's get this guy cut. Yeah, I'm just gonna find my center approximately. We'll probably have to cut it down again once we have it all said and done, but. So get us off to a good start. So we're not gonna be using the lathe uh, as a lathe. We're just gonna use it as an assistant to me. This is my assistant. His name is Lathe. Okay, so now that we've got the log on the lathe, we're going to go ahead and uh, peel the bark off and uh, do it the old-fashioned way with a drop plate. Okay, so we've got the bark off pretty good here. So you can kind of see now what the lamps are going to start to look like. Uh, looks like one lamp is going to have a lot of this going on because the middle is going to be right about here. So one lamp is going to have this going on. That will probably be the, the front facing part. And then the other lamp is going to have this, the big gap going on. And it will be facing forward that way. So kind of see what they're going to look like. So they may not match as well as I had hoped because originally I thought that you know they'd split it right here but there's a lot of burl right here that I'm going to try to take advantage of. So this is going to be a cool piece. So now we're going to use the sander. I'm using 80 grid. Alright, so now that we've got it all sanded down, I can kind of see what I'm looking at here. There are a few places that I want to dig out a little bit more of the burl bark and try to get in there with a sander. Like in here, mostly. But it's kind of hard to get in there with the sander sometimes, so you kind of Sometimes you just have to leave it uh, the darker color, which is fine. I think it, it's really cool when there's a lot of black in the, in the wood because the wood is so white that the black really stands out and really gives it a good accent. So we're not going to mess with it too much, but I do want to dig out some of this loose bark so it doesn't fall out in somebody's house. So to do that, I'm going to use just a chisel. So now I'm going to go over it again with the uh, sandpaper. Alright, so this is looking pretty good, I think. We've got some wormhole in here inside of the burl. And we got the burl nice and smooth. It looks like it needs a little bit more right there. 
Anyway, that's looking pretty good, so uh, I think I'm gonna stick with that. <clears throat> so now that I know I've got it where I like it, woo! <clears throat> I need a 120, meaning I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. Sand it real nice. All right, I'm happy with it, I'm happy. So, all right, now we're gonna take it off the lathe, flip it over, uh, cut it in half, drill our holes, <coughs> continue on from there. The cut in half is a little uh, tricky, because <clears throat> it's not gonna fit in the chop saw. I don't think. It might, you could try it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and chop it in the chop saw then. I think that'll work. So I've got approximately 34, which is gonna be 16. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's gonna be 17. Math is kind of important when you're doing carpentry work. So when I cut it, I wanna make sure that my because these are going to be the bottom. The cut I'm making now is going to be the bottom of the lamp. So I want to make sure that I cut it straight. Otherwise the lamp is going to lean a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to cut it the rest of the way with a... Uh, so this is going to be our lamps right here, and they are the same height, so that's a plus. Alright, so now that we've gotten them all flattened out and everything, we're going to go ahead and drill our hole. Now it's really important that we make sure that we get the hole straight down. Um, but since it's pretty much impossible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top. That way I can be sure that my hole that's exposed is at least centered. And then at the bottom, hopefully it'll come out somewhere around here. And there we go, it's barely popped out, perfect length. Okay, my hole didn't pop out, my drill. But I know it's gotta be right there somewhere. So I'm just gonna move it out of the drill a little bit to give myself a little bit extra length. You don't wanna do that if you don't have to. Yep, there we go. All right, now the tops are, uh, are really important to get really nice because that's what people are gonna see. So, I'm going to use my, my, uh, my disc sander here, and I'm just going to round off the tops a little bit, just a little bit. This is what we do with uh, bed posts and, and other types of uh, vertical pieces that are exposed at the top like this. I want to get them just rounded a little bit, nice and smooth, really glassy looking, really sweet. use the normal sander for the rest of it. Okay, okay now we'll uh, use the 120. make these you want to make sure that the uh, all the all the in grain because what you have is the grain is going this direction so typically when you cut off a log like that it's going to be really kind of like sharp and like I don't know raggy looking 
uh, with all the grain, the loose grains uh, sticking up. So you want to make sure you get all that smoothed out real nice. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and cut out a little space for the wire to go through. I don't want it to be very deep, just deep enough for the cord to go through. Now it's time to oil. So we're going to oil them and then we'll take a short break while they dry and we'll come back and put all the parts back together. It's going to look really pretty I bet. That's what I think is going to happen. Oh yeah. Look at that. On the first coat you can just kind of slobber the, the stain of the oil on. Um, I accidentally said stain. It's not stain. There's no stain in this oil whatsoever. It's a clear oil, so it brings out the natural color of the wood. All right, so we're just gonna let these guys dry, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so it's tomorrow, and uh, my lamp should be dry now. I actually put on two coats of oil. I didn't show you the second coat because. Quite frankly, watching oil dry is a lot like watching paint dry. So I decided to spare you that boredom. Uh, but anyway, we got some nice looking lamps here, so now we're going to put the electrical parts in them. Uh, it's not real hard to do the electrical parts, you just gotta, I don't know, it's kind of common sense, I suppose. So this is our plug end, I want to start off with sticking this through the other way. Like I said before, you can get these kits at any hardware store. There we go. Alright, so now that we got our wire in there, we're going to put our yoke on it. It's, uh, it's basically like a tube with threads on the outside. Now, there's going to be a little washer on there. You're going to want to take the washer up. Put this on first. I'm going to put the socket on and uh, you want to make sure that you get the wires right. On your socket you're going to have a silver wire and a gold wire. The gold, I mean a silver screw and a gold screw. The silver screw is for neutral, the gold screw is for hot. Your wire is going to have ribs on one of the wires. So you have two wires here and one's ribbed along the side all the way down. That's your neutral. So you want to put that with the silver, uh, silver screw. Now we're going to slip this over it, and that will lock everything into place. Steal a bolt from my shop here. Stick that in there. Plug it into my bench. And voila, we have a light. Bright light. It's a beautiful light. Look at that light. And the wire, you can just go right out the end and you can either put a staple on there or or, uh, or just leave it loose and the homeowner can just stick it in there when they set it down. It's whatever you want to do. There we go, we got a nice, beautiful uh, Earl Aspen lamp. So now we'll do the other one. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Another lamp, done. All right. That was pretty easy, I think. Maybe too easy. So this one is still a little bit damp, uh, so when it fully dries out, I'm probably going to want to just maybe go over it one more time with a little bit of sand, really, really fine sandpaper, and then with a, a rag, just go over it again one more time with the oil, just to polish it up real nice. But you get the idea how to make them. Uh, oh, wait. Now oh, it works. That's good. Didn't want to look like a fool. All right. Thanks again for watching the Rustic Styles YouTube site. Uh, if you want to see more stuff from Rustic Style or San Juan Carpentry, go to sanjuancarpentry.com. And uh, we have an email link there, and we have pictures and photos and videos of all sorts of different things. So check it out, and thank you again for watching.